Hello everybody, welcome to Coco's Crochet. I'm Litsa and today I need your help with the final detail of what's hot off my hook. Literally, I've just finished this object but there's one final detail that I need help with. So of course I'm going to ask for you to help me because in my home right now we're divided in half. We have two opinions and I need a final answer so I can call this a finished object. Now what I'm about to show you is by no means a new um, crochet project. It has been around for over a year but it is something that I have been desperately wanting to make for so long and I made the time and let me tell you it surprised me in so many ways including what a quick and easy project that it is. So what am I talking about guys? It's the turtle memory game. So here's my little turtle here. There's the bottom and there's the top. So this is the mama turtle over here guys and living inside her are her little baby turtles. But before we get on to the pattern and the changes that I made and they might be something that suit you too. I'm just going to talk to you about the tutorials that I use because they were excellent the yarns and all the other little bits and pieces that you need because some of you may not actually have you know watched a video on how to make the turtle memory game I certainly did I sat down and watched both completely so I want to share my experience with you because it was so wonderful and it is a great scrap buster let me tell you it's something that I think that I'll be making to add to many um, you know little toddlers birthday presents or when there's a newborn maybe this will be in place of a lovey there are so many options you know how you can gift it or just have it in your home when little people come to visit I am certainly very excited that I have one in my home now and let me tell you I see many many more um, being crocheted in the future so let's get started the very first thing that you'll need obviously is some yarn and some hooks I used all of my um, marble eight ply or DK weight 100% acrylic yarn. Now you could make it out of cotton, you could make it out of bulkier yarn, but remember the bigger the yarn, the bigger the hook and the bigger the project. So I went by the recommendation by the pattern maker. She did also recommend that, sorry, she recommended that you use a four millimeter hook. I used a five because generally that's what I use with my DK weight yarn. So you're going to need two colors, obviously the main color for the shell and then the color for the body. So the two main colors. So I went for these two. I'm sorry, these don't actually have ball bands. Most of them didn't have ball bands because they're sitting, because um, I've used them before, but you can use your imagination, use a color that may be a darker brown even. It's totally up to you. You might want to go psychedelic and, you know, or, you know, Halloween colors or Christmas colors. It doesn't really ma matter, but I went more mainstream this time. So I used these colors. <clears throat> excuse me I'm so excited and then I used six colors because I made 12 baby total uh, turtles in total so I went for the brighter colors this time so I used these three colors here which I absolutely love and I contemplated going for a hot pink but I ended up with this pink which I absolutely love as well so let me see there we go these colors are all on the bellies of the baby turtles um, but you of course can mix it up any way you like you know i was thinking of themes like pastels or earthy tones depending on the family that you're gifting it to and you know also you know they have different theories on little people being more excited by bright colors another color is being more calming and soothing and i guess that applies to all of us but of course you know your discretion use the colors that you think would be most appropriate but they're the ones that i used now not only other than yarn and a hook you just do need some basics, which I highly recommend that you have. Even if you've never used a stitch marker before and you don't want to, I highly recommend that you do. And I will tell you why um, as we talk through the changes that I made. But if you don't have any stitch markers, by all means, just cut up some of the yarn and have some little pieces and there's your stitch markers ready. You'll actually need one, two, three, four, five at the very least. So whether it be a stitch marker or you know some yarn, have some handy because you are going to need them. You're also going to need a very small amount of stuffing. So, you know, whichever, whatever stuffing you use, um, I just happen to have this on hand. Some people I know that you do use, um, you know, your old, your little bits of yarn that you keep, but it might not be um, suitable for this project. Reason being you use double crochet. So this is all US terminology throughout this video. 
So I think that he might poke through, but this worked very, very well. And you do use a tiny, tiny amount. You use um, double crochets and half double crochets for this project uh, predominantly. So um, we've covered that. Oh, and you're gonna need a little tiny button. Now I opted for this green one here, basically because it's almost invisible. Not quite, but almost. I do have so many of these little handmade with love buttons, but I just thought for this project that I would go with something that you wouldn't see. Now, of course, if the button was going to close on the bottom side, so if I was going to put the bottom, the button on the bottom, I would definitely use this one because it would have matched perfectly, but I wanted it to um, be able to be fastened from the top, the button. So that's it guys, they're your materials. Very basic, I'm pretty sure most of us, if not all of us, have some on hand. So you can get started now if you want to. So let me tell you, the YouTube um, creator or the channel that I followed, and there are two videos. So it's Hobie or H-O-B-B-I. I don't think it's connected to the Hobie, the yarn um, company because that's double I at the end. So I may be wrong, and if you know otherwise, please let me know, but it is H-O-B-B-I crochet, so Hobie crochet, and there are two parts. The first part shows you how to make the baby turtles, and the second part shows you how to make the mummy turtle. They are a great base pattern. Um, you know, she's very, very thorough, but I did make some of my cha own changes and I will share them with you. Um, reason being, they just, um, you know, they suited me better. It wasn't that it was, you know, necessary, but I just felt that it was going to be better for me. So um, we've talked about all the yarns and things that we've used. Now, as I said, I start, no, I may not have said this. I started with video number two. Reason being, I wanted to make the mummy turtle so that I would know how many baby turtles I could fit inside. Because um, as the pattern designer says in her video, you might wanna actually make a deeper shell and put more babies in there, baby turtles. And in actual fact, that's not a bad idea at all. And as I was making this, I was actually making revisions in my head as I go for future makes. But I guess that's what we do as, you know, crocheters. So that's the reason why I made the mummy turtle first, which is your second video. So I highly recommend that you do that, even if you make it exactly as she said, which I did do. So for the shell, Sorry, yes, for the shell. So when you make the mummy turtle, you create the shell first. And it is a seven round increase. Um, just a standard increase. But she starts off with 13 double crochets instead of 12, which is more traditional or more like what I'm used to. But it works very, very well. Very, very you know similar concept. In actual fact, you just have an extra stitch to start off with and all the way around as you increase. Now, um, the designer also has a very unique way of starting off each row. Um, I just did what I always do when I make beanies or circles, you know, whenever I do a circle and increase, I do two chains which don't count for anything. So in actual fact, it makes the fabric all nice and dense, so you don't have the two chains on their own. So I have the two chains, and then I made my 13 stitches, for example, and then continue to increase. So when you did a seven row increase, that got you to 91 stitches. And for the shell, she asked us to do two more rounds with just the 91 stitches. So then we went on to the base. So the base is actually, again, starting off with 13 um, stitches in a magic ring um, and then work out for seven rows, bringing it to 91 stitches. And then we had to proceed to make the pieces for the mum, the mum, the mummy turtle. Um, so we had to make four legs and a head. I'll talk about the tail later. So the four legs and the head. So what we did was um, uh, the four legs, uh, three rounds, I believe, and you start off with the twelve, and then increase to twenty-four, and then did one row of you know just the. Uh, 24 from memory correct i'm sorry you have to check the video i didn't bring my notes that i took down for the pattern itself but of course refer to the videos for that so we did um the four legs and then we did the head um now the youtube creator or the pattern designer she doesn't ask for you to actually stuff the legs or the head i opted not to stuff the legs this time 
but I did very lightly stuff the head. So you can see that it sits like it's a little bit stuffed. You could, I could have um, stuffed the legs. I don't think it would have made an issue. But the other thing that I didn't do is um, make, um, sorry, sew them together or crochet together the ends. I actually left them as a tube and I'll tell you why. Um, so the pattern designer then proceeded to pin on the, um, the feet and the head or the legs, beg your pardon, and the um, head. And then she proceeded to sew all the pieces together. So she pinned them together and sewed them. And I thought, well, that's way too much work. So what I did, and this is where your stitch markers come in handy, guys. You're going to need these, trust me. So what I did, I worked out that, you know, with 91 stitches, the 46th stitch was the absolute center. So I made sure that I marked it there. And then I went around 18 stitches on either side of the head and then another 18 stitches for the next leg and then I had the opening here. So whatever the remainder of the stitches were, that's what the opening was going to be. And I sort of tried to put my hand in there to see if the baby turtles would fit because I knew they'd be little, but I hadn't made one yet. So I didn't want to make a mistake, but I was so um, invested in getting it finished that I couldn't wait either. I know that's crazy, right? Anyway, so that's what I did, guys. So what I did with the pieces before I cast them off, so as I was making them, I actually started to crochet them on with a slip stitch so what I did for the head for example I went halfway um, for half of it so um, at the point where it was you know either side was half so if you pinched in the middle you'd have half the head in the front and at the back I went to the center of that and went to the center of the um, stitch marker and then I crocheted either side to make the head sit on there now mind you I still had the other side just hanging there like a tube as we said and I did the same with all four legs so when I finished with that I then attached the shell so basically one more step that I should say is when I was attaching the legs to the base or the bottom of the turtle I had it right side facing down so then I had to go and add the shell on top so what I did was I just started anyway, it didn't really matter where you started, but I basically single crocheted in each and every stitch around and including the, um, the legs or the head. So when I started to crochet that very first row of single crochet um, to attach them, I just, like I said, went around. So if I was to open this up now, these are hollow inside but they haven't been stitched so you can put your little fingers through them if you wish but when I stuffed the head I actually flipped it inside out and I did sew the bottom of the head together so the stuffing wouldn't come out so that's how I attached the body and the shell and all the um, legs and the head without it being sewing so it was all crocheted together which I thought was awesome and it saved a lot of time but when I finished I thought that in my head, like a shell isn't perfectly round. You need a little bit of a, you know, like, you know how the turtle shells are a bit, you know, or how do you, a bit wavy? They're not wavy, but you know what I mean. They look like a rock, really. So I proceeded to add in each single crochet, two double crochets, just to give it that effect. So I'm hoping that you think that it was a good addition as well. So that's pretty much it. Then I had that all together. So then we had to make the baby turtles. So where are we? <laughs> now, let me open this up. So very simply with this little button here, just open it up and all the baby turtles live inside. How brilliant is that, guys? So let me show them to you. So this is what a little baby turtle looks like. There's its belly. And there are six different colors and two of each, as we said at the very start. And then what you do is you crochet the top, which is three rounds, and it's all in half double crochet. And then you make the second piece, which is the base. So you do the first round is six single, uh, 12 half double crochet, beg your pardon, guys, 12 half double crochets. And then you increase doubling it. And then you get your shell and your base and you start to crochet on so you attach it so with the green so the shell you only um, pick up the front loop 
and then you proceed to make the head the two legs sorry four legs and a tail and there's your completed little turtle oh my goodness so adorable right so so cute so i made 12 in total the sun is a little bit funky at the moment guys because it is about 3 30 in the afternoon so i didn't um, realize that that would be happening but that's okay you can still see what's going on so here are my bottoms there's my little turtles you saw the purple one favorite color we all know that right and then we've got the red so they were very very quick and easy to make the designer actually says so there's another pink she says that it takes about here they all are all coming out guys so 12 actually fit very very well in here another blue and we've still got more coming out <laughs> yellow red and lucky last another yellow so that's it guys um sorry the designer says that they take about 20 minutes to crochet up the little legs and let me tell you when you get your rhythm they really do after about two or three i didn't even have to refer to the video i just knew the pattern off in my head so you know the sequence you know how to crochet it on but i just think that it is adorable um, in actual fact, I could probably fit another two in here, possibly. Now, the only change that I would maybe make um, is maybe put an extra row on the, the feet. Because I did that extra bit on top, maybe they could stick out a bit more, but that's something to think about. Now, I did add the tail. There wasn't a tail in the video. Um, the designer actually put the button on the base and then just flip that over to you know which you could do um just to put it on together but i thought a tail a tail was nice because you know the turtle then had a complete body legs head and tail and it was the perfect addition to pop the little button on so that sits on very well so i just added a couple of rows of single crochet to the base and then i did i think i did nine single crochets and then i just did a few rows until it was like a little triangle and then added the button so that's pretty much it guys i think that it is t so adorable i absolutely love love this um uh, pattern this project as i said it is something that i'm going to be making many many of i'm sure um the only thing is that i'm not sure about the button um, I have to say that after I sewed it on, I thought, is that a good option for little people? Because I didn't want to, you know, have a choking, God forbid, hazard. But um, that's something that I'm working on. So if you have any ideas, please let me know. I'm very much open to those. And then the other thing that I need to do now, guys, is actually ask you the question, you know, that I started off, um, that I need an answer to. Should I or shouldn't I embroider eyes on this face do you think it needs it i was going to and i did mention that um it was my son actually we played a little game of memory um the memory game it was actually a lot of fun he said oh you don't need it mum." and i went i think i do so this is why i had to jump on i need your help please let me know in the comments down below have you made a turtle memory game first of all and if so, please send me photos. I'd love to share. And if you have, have you put eyes, a mouth or just eyes or nothing on your big turtle? I'm not going to like on the mummy turtle. I'm not going to add it to the baby turtles because if you can see, if you do that, you can actually see there's some little holes there, which actually look like the eyes. So, so cute, right? Anyway, I'm going away from the question. So please let me know what your thoughts are on that. And then I can actually call this a finished object. But for now, I'm ecstatic. So, so very happy because I have been wanting to do this for such a very long time. So, yeah, as I said, let me know if you've made them before or what other memory games you might have made. Because you know what? I'm seeing other ones around now, which I'm so very excited about as well. I've seen ones that are like a milk bottle or, a, you know, um, a jar with cookies in it absolutely love that idea um, i'm sure that you can make other animals like you know 
that are round or whatever shape. I, I have to say that I've only seen the two, the one that I just shared, the turtle and the cookies and milk, but I absolutely love them. So please, please, please share, 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 share what you've done. And thank you so much for hanging out with me. I had to tell someone, as I said, hot off the hook. I could not wait to share these tiny little turtles with you and their mummy turtle. So once again, thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you're all very, very well and had a great day. Um, it is nearly, you know, the afternoon here. And as you can see, the sun will be setting soon. My hair actually looks like it's different colored. That's pretty cool. Anyway, that's not what you're here for. So I hope you're all very, 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 very well. Take care and I shall see you all very, very soon. Bye-bye everyone.